In this video, I'll be showing you how to make these particular buttons for your sidebar uh, for the WordPress um, CMS or Content Management System, uh, for, you know, for managing a website. So I'll go to widgets, to my widgets, and show you what I did. If you go down to where it says just a text box, over here you see like a bunch of code. And the basis of my code is that I made a paragraph, and within this paragraph I set the style to the margin to have only 5 um, rem, text align to the left, font size is 16 pixels, so the font is a little bigger than normal. I also, um, let's see, I also set the, um, the text color to white, I do believe. Let me check. Yeah, that should be white. Uh-huh. Uh, display inline block. This uh, inline block is kind of like, it sets, you know how, a gra uh, you know graphing paper, right? So you know how graphing paper, uh, if you imagine something like graphing paper, and then if you put like units that align in, uh, in there, I don't know if that makes sense. But basically, um, an inline block is a way to manage how uh, elements are aligned in a block manner. So that's why I was mentioning graph paper, because they, they make um, graphing paper is basically a bunch of blocks. Anyways, and the class is BBTN. And this is actually a custom class that I um uh, that I have made myself, and you can actually go if you go to Google, if you go and type in um what's it called, uh, CSS button, or box you know no, button button. If you type that in, if, if, you, if there's some uh, website, you see uh, this is called CSS button generator. And what all uh, what it, what I did is I just uh, generated a button how I liked, choose the box, border, background, hover styles. I copied these, these in, and you can see that is BTN. And I just called it whatever I wanted to call it. I, I called the class BBTN, like blue button. That's uh, BTN stands for button. It's just a you can call it whatever you want, just as long as you can remember it, so that when you go ahead and add this uh, specific class designation to a uh, element, it takes that um, it takes those um, these rules over here, if you want to call them rules or attributes. And so um, what you do is you copy this, and then you can uh, um, paste that into your um, style CSS. And then if whenever you use the class, it'll, um, it'll take whatever um, these attributes say in the style CSS under this specific class name and uh, apply it to that element. So that's what you can do. Anyways, um, if you're wondering about that, there's a few ways to access the style CSS. One of them, um, I think it's uh, with the most current, um, oops, I'm going to go back. But with the most current um, update for WordPress, the most uh, current version, if you hit the customize button, uh, instead of uh, having to go to the, your back end, it allows you to customize the style CSS from the front end. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. Give me one moment. All right, so let's see. You can see additional CSS over here. If I left click that, uh, you, and you can see all of my additional CSS uh, that's being applied. By the way, now I'm uh, remembering what this is. This only works if you have a Jetpack installed. If you don't, then you would have to um, do the changes within the themes um, CS, uh, style, uh, style sheet CSS. But with Jetpack, they give you the option to have uh, an additional um, CSS that overrides the the, uh, our themes CSS so that's what I'm using if, uh, if that makes sense so um, I have one for shadow and I have one for a red button I'm not using that right now uh, let's see the blue see you can see this one B, BBTN and I have all of that I just pasted that code in this area alright anyways if I go back to my widgets I have specified it with the class BT, BBTN so it takes up those um, attributes specified by the class then we have the href href is like you know the, it's pointing to um, uh, outbound link or a website link H, like you know over here is a this is technically a URL href means um, you know URL put a URL ad address what do you want to designate that element with what URL address so I've designated this one with um, https patreon.com and then my personal uh, patreon which is called biohacking 
anyways um, and then I put in an image in here if you go back you will see that there's images here um, originally I was thinking of using like uh, alt code do you know what alt code is basically um, basically uh, when you paste in something like these I don't, I don't know if these are the best, best example but for example if you if you paste in maybe this or this then it appears a little differently if you for example in the YouTube comments they have those like uh, emojis basically it turns into an um, emoji also on the WordPress for some of the um, alt codes anyway so instead of alt I was thinking of using alt code in the first place but I thought you know the best way to make an icon is just to use an image and so that, that's what I did I put an image here I put an image here I put an image here I made sure that these images are square meaning um, meaning uh, they have a one by one ratio so that they won't look weird like this one is too tall or one is too long so they don't like uh, look weird when you uh, uh, when you make them the same uh, uh, size if that makes sense anyways so the, these are actually images I put in the uh, buttons in themselves so you start with a caret IMG to uh, stand for image and then style is equal to width 15 percent meaning that the uh, let's see the width it just uh, uh, tells you the width of the button it's interesting because I set all of these to 15 percent if I right click and in inspect element I'll show you what it says over here. All these images I've set to 15% and that's what worked for me. So for example, this one is a 15 per, has a width of 15%. You can see it over here, 15%. The next one, if I right click and inspect element, this one also has 15%. This yep, 15%. Even though all these images may not have the same like size I'm, they have maybe uh, different sizes when I uploaded them but in terms of ratio they're all the same ratio inspect element this one this is also 15 percent so you can see that this um, uh, this uh, image over here is oh, one, 1374 pixels if I go back to maybe say this one inspect element this one is let's see There you go. This is only a 512 by 512. So interestingly enough, the width I think is talking about the width. It is talking about the width of the image, but in, ter in terms of like the ratio, if that makes sense. Anyways, now if I go back over here, we have um, SRC, which is the source. That's where you put the uh, URL. Oh, of the for the image because this image over here belongs to a particular URL if I hit control C copy this and then if I paste this on my um, on the you know URL bar or search bar I don't I don't want I don't know what to call it it shows you the image so this is something you have to do if you want to find a URL for your image this is what you need to do you can go to media and library I'm gonna hold the control key and the left mouse button to open in a different window and click it with the left, left mouse button alright so with the media uh, library opening I can just left click this and then it gives me all this information over here you just uh, uh, triple click this or click it so you, or control A to uh, select all of it control C and then you can just paste that into the SRC like that okay you can paste that into your SRC and by the way, I'm gonna put uh, put uh, all of this code in in, in like a, a website uh, on one of my uh, website pages, and you can uh, just um, click it in the description below. Anyways, if you want to just copy and paste the code, and you know just um, uh, change whatever you need to change, and make it so that it works for your website. Anyways, um, you have a alt. Uh, you you also have the option of um, giving it an alt tag. That's not really important. That's more for um, like it's, it just tells Google what it is basically. It's not important. You don't need that part. And then um, I have uh, to put some spaces. I use the uh, uh, non-breaking line space, which is this uh, symbol and NBSP and the ampersand symbol. And then um, you end it with the comma, so comma, see? Anyways, and then I said support biohacking, and then you end in each of these tags. If you have a tag like a P tag, you have to end it with a, a dash and a P. If you go down over here, you'll see my dash P 
for this p tag is all the way down here. So within these uh, paragraph tags, I'm putting a, uh, the, um, the anchor tags, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. And yeah, that's what I did for the first one. And I repeated for all of these buttons. Is there anything else that I would like to add? I think that's all I did for the button. Yeah. And I'll show you how these um, how those codes correspond and affect these buttons. So you already uh, already showed you how to uh, find the um, the button code. And again, um, I'll put it in the description below if you just want to down only co copy what I have. Uh, let's see. You can also Google CSS button to find and customize and make your own custom button. Uh, let's see. So for example, this one over here. I left click this paragraph and or the P uh, tag and let me see if I can't if I can't do this let me show you guys properly what it says and so um, over here color is white if you can change if I ch change it to blue so now you know that the color is referring to the te color text okay so um, wait let me just change that back all right, and then display right now is inline block. If I undo that, you'll you'll see that it looks weird. So it uh, kind of stretches it in this particular example. It just makes sure it fills this uh, whole um, uh, area. Let's see. Next, uh, this is the B, uh, BBTN code that I uh, pasted into my additional CSS, and you know it it. it um, customizes the how the button looks so it actually looks like a button mm, anything else and uh, okay font size so if I, I made this a 16 font size because if I don't do that it, lo it looks a lot smaller and this is the native font size um, uh, determined by the um, the code of the Word, uh, WordPress theme okay and so I wanted it bigger so that people can see that distinctly and uh, the, uh, another thing is a text line I uh, aligned it to the left. If I don't do that, it, uh, um, in this particular scenario, maybe it's uh, being overridden by no another piece of code. But basically, I just wanted to make sure that they all line up like a list, and it doesn't. It, I don't want like one thing um, to the right, while the, uh, another thing to the left, or if they um, I just wanted the buttons to look good and um, like kind of uh, all listed in one uh, way, so it looks nice and organized if that makes sense and uh, I think the last thing to cover is the REM you can change like the line height but that's not what I did let's see if I can't find the REM if I go to the um, P class uh, okay so the margin bottom the REM was uh, refer uh, was uh, attribute I was applying to the margin bottom if I don't do that you'll see that the margin is really big for each of these buttons so I wanted them to be really close and save some space so I set this to 0 0.5 for and if I set it to something different like 1 this is how it looks with more space in between and uh, that's what the REM does over here in this particular example and I customize the REM or the margin bottom for each of these buttons and uh, I guess uh, that's all um, all there is to it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.